Whoop whoop for breaking, man. Shouts out to that uh motherfucking Westside Hall Park game, man. F H N shit. Big Bram shit, no little shit, man. You know how we coming. Big shouts out to the gas team, man. Off the squad, man. Everybody that's been subscribed, following the videos, tapping in in that comment section, man. I appreciate the love, bro. I appreciate everybody that's been fucking with a nigga. It's a few dick riders out there, a couple of little trolls and shit like that. It's a few trolls from supposedly supposed to be from where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned later on, bro. I'm going to do a video and address a couple of them little niggas. Desperado, you know what I'm saying? A couple of them little niggas that's been in my content section heavy on some lame shit. But y'all niggas have been faithful though. Y'all been there, you know what I'm saying? But if I view you in person, I got to at least slap the shit out you. At the least, you know what I'm saying? That's Mando. But I know that I ain't going to see you in person because nigga, you claim you know where I'm at. You claim you know where the house is and all that shit. So if you was going to pop up, somebody would have been viewed you by now. So, I mean, I know niggas don't be threats for real, but a lot of people let that internet shit get them hurt or killed. You know what I'm saying? Nigga try to be the bigger person or whatever, but, you know, don't let that shit get you in no situation, man. Because niggas play for keeps out here. That's for real. But uh, I ain't even finna prolong or digress. I'm going straight to it. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm finna come in here and address the East Bows and the West Bows. East versus West, or West to East. East to West, West to East. How you coming with it? You coming East to West, you coming West to East. You know what I'm saying? That's the question. That's what I'm finna break down. And as a lot of my, you know what I'm saying, a lot of my viewers and followers that be in my comment section that fuck with me, they'll tell you, you know what I'm saying, like all this information right here, you can go straight on Reddit and get it. You can go on Google and get it. But... You can't get it from a source that you know that's credible. You know what I'm saying? And this shit is simple shit. So if you a member like, bro, you don't need to be exposing the secrets, bro, the bloods, bro. It's like, nigga, you talking about some elementary shit. This bull, well, I ain't gonna say bullshit because nigga, hey, 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 hey. The fuck? But this ain't no... Uh, this ain't no deep shit. This not no motherfucking secrets of the gangs and shit like that. We don't talk about none of this shit. Let me, let's clear that up. Me and the guys, uh, me and whoever I'm tapping in, networking with, we talks about none of this type of shit, bro. Because if you don't already got this shit locked in, bro, we ain't even gonna be in the same circle rubbing elbows. You know what I'm saying? The difference between the East and the West. What side, plus what? Bro, come on, man. Niggas be in my, bro, shut the fuck up. Get off my dick. And if you feel like you can do shit better, make you a channel and do your shit. But here we go. As I digress. Back to it. East Coast versus West Coast. You know what I'm saying? And it was two different origins behind the shit. It was two different beginnings. You know what I'm saying? But as you know, niggas end up holding the same banner. Niggas end up riding under similar causes. You know what I'm saying? And in a lot of situations, you got West Coast sets that done rooted up and they done grew in the East. Can't say so much about East Coast sets on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Because the West is the motherland. You dig what I'm saying? So everything really, the ideas and the premises of the shit came from the West Coast. So even if this nigga went to the East without no permission and got some shit popping, the idea of it, came from the west coast so you can't shake that the west is the home you know what i'm saying that's the motherland give a fuck what you banging if it's on some red shit the west the motherland you know and it's like if a nigga banging some shit that originated out of the east you know what i'm saying a lot of time west coast says won't won't fully acknowledge them and i don't know you know what i'm saying i can't really say i blame them you know what i'm saying but it's just like i feel like anything a nigga really know slang lead behind, do time behind, and lay down behind, then you got to respect it to an extent. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we not the same. So if I'm on some West Side shit and a nigga on some East Bowl shit, we both hollering blood, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, that's the only common denominator. We both hollering blood. You know what I'm saying? We both bang to the right. We use some of the same lingo. You know what I'm saying? But 
I think they got different sets of rules and protocols and shits like that. And if niggas really want to come and and bring shit together on some unity shit, like it's gonna have to be some common grounds. But I don't see niggas from the West conceding anything, seeing that this the original. The only thing that a nigga could do, as far as being a West Side set, is a lot you a spot. You know what I'm saying? A lot you a spot into what we got going on. Or if niggas in the East Boats can say. Fuck it, we'll do our own shit. What's up, big man? Fuck it, we'll do our own shit. Let me let y'all see big dog. Oh, my man, come here. Uh, uh, this big deuce right here. Big deuce right here, you know what I'm saying? This is my, this my little male for 45 months. You know what I'm talking about? I got another little male in there. Well, I'll be trying to keep them separated. He's a little smaller male. I'll show them to y'all a little later. But anyway, back to it. So a lot of niggas from the West won't acknowledge the shit from the East because it, it don't, it's different. The protocol and shit be different. And it's like, why should a nigga respect that? What what do a nigga, what has a nigga done to make that shit valid in my eyes? You know what I'm saying? Coming from the West side, it's like, bro. And if y'all got y'all thing and y'all doing y'all thing over there, then that's boo. Y'all do that over there. But if you hollering the same shit we hollering, then it got to be some common ground. You know what I'm saying? Like you had them, them, the Mac Ball of Brims and, and the prime times. It's like, bro, if, if niggas wasn't tuned all the way in, I don't really know where that shit even came from. That's not part of the FHN. So if it ain't part of the FHN, bro, I don't I can't really speak on it. I don't know no much about it. And if niggas is trying to get their shit validated, bro, all a nigga have to do is go through the proper channels and get tapped in. Find somebody. I ain't I'm not, when I say tap in, bro, that don't mean niggas hitting me all the time saying, like, you know what I'm saying, I want to be tapped in, bro. It's like, you got to find a nigga in your circle or in your area if you can, and sometimes you can't, you know what I'm saying? And that's where you will take an extended motherfucker and get in a comment session to let niggas know that you just that hungry, but you at least got to exhaust all the resources in your area to find out who know what in your area, because if a nigga tap all the way in and, and you in such and such, you in... Bronx, New York, or whatever, man, I don't know any of them. I'm trying to tap in or whatever. And then I tap in, and it's like, oh, bro, it's homies over there. You know what I'm saying? It's homies. It's, it's, woo, woo, woo. It's like, nigga, why you, ain't, why you ain't do that? Why I got to get all the way on the line? Nigga, you from there. So that let a nigga know you not outside. You not active. You know what I'm saying? You not out there. And niggas not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Niggas not recruiting no niggas sitting behind no screens or behind no phone messages typing, man. Niggas got to understand that shit. I don't know what the fuck niggas thinking this is or what this is about, but when you join shit like this, East Coast or West Coast, you taking a risk. You putting some shit on the line. You taking a chance of getting involved in some shit that really ain't got shit to do with you. You getting yourself involved in some shit. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep all that shit in mind and understand that, bro. This ain't, this not no social club. You know what I'm talking about? This not no hobby, lobbyist type shit. This for motherfuckers that, like, this a way of life. This a whole lifestyle. You got niggas that done went to prison. You got niggas that done died behind this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not that. So, you need to be for real if a nigga talking about becoming a part of some shit or, or tuning in on some shit. Niggas need to be serious, bro. You could real deal die behind it, bro. Niggas don't understand that. It don't hit home until it hit home. And I can't make it sink in through words. You know what I'm saying? Until you lost the homie. You ain't gonna know what it feel like. And then the sad situation is a lot of niggas gotta be the homie that get lost before they even understand that this shit ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? But back to it, you know what I'm talking about? It's been some talk and a nigga can't really speak on too much of, of that live politics shit of what's going on now. But it is a few people from one side tapping in on the other side and we're gonna view where that shit go. But I'm pushing for unity. If the West Coast and the East Coast Bloods can get together and come to a common ground and all get into one army and one formation, bro, that's a dangerous situation right there. You know, a lot of shit can get done, positive and negative, a lot of influence or whatever, but it's going to take the right heads coming and sitting down at the table, you know what I'm saying, and, and putting the right ideas together and coming together, but it's possible. It's possible for real, you know what I'm saying? It's just all about... Getting on one mind, one accord, bro, and going. But 
I mean, so to separate it, let me give you some uh, official goddamn some some differences. How you a know a nigga East Boats from West Boats? Let me see. Let me see. Really, I mean, once you once you join what you join, you gonna know which way you coming from. If you going west to east or east to east, whatever you get down with, you know what I'm saying? You gonna know what it is. Whoever put you on is supposed to lace you up and let you know. But if you coming off the of west side, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I, I use I use the brim as an example. You know what I'm saying? Like the F H N. You feel me? You got some BBOV niggas, you know what I'm talking about? But that's part of it. That's part of all that west side shit. You know what I'm saying? Basement block, Ocean View, like, it's a lot of homies on the east. I heard screaming that initially and didn't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? I just heard it until a nigga was hip. You feel what I'm talking about? I thought it came out the east, but it didn't. You know what I'm saying? That's the day go homies. You know what I'm talking about? And you got niggas, they just, they just been pushing their line. You know what I'm saying? But contrary to popular belief, Five nines didn't start in Dago. But you know, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas might believe what they believe, but if you know, you know. It's one of them situations. And if you don't know, I ain't trying to force feed it down a nigga mouth, but all my niggas that's hip, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if you know the big country, look country, all that good shit, the same shit you can go watch the motherfucking a whole, when Elgin did his special on there, you know what I'm saying, talking about little country and shit, like, that's common knowledge in the origins of Bloods and Crips, so you know what I'm saying, like, but if you know what you know, and you really brimming on some shit, you feel me, if you really own all that shit, that real FHN shit, then you know the big country, little country, you know how that go, and you know where the five nines came from, you know what I'm saying, you know where they came from. So, and and I don't got no problem getting in the inbox and politicking with real righteous homies. But you know what I'm saying? Nigga got to tap in. We're not doing it through no comment section. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing it through no comment section, man. I'm, I'm OYG Gas on motherfucking Snapchat. Gas Team 251 on Instagram. And the Six Deuce Brim on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? But it's Brim Dion, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube. That's the motherfucking, that's the moniker, nigga. That's what we stepping on, you feel what I'm saying? So that's what them youngest come behind. They come behind Brim D. You dig what I'm saying? So all my niggas, man, I appreciate the love, man. Y'all niggas tuned in, tap in, keep brimming, man, the right way. Woo.